Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Today I've got something exciting to share that might be a game changer if you're a Sennheiser G-Series wireless user. Now, you know that on this channel, we're all about that WYSIWYGCOM love, but bear with me. I promise I'll bring back the WYSIWYGCOM love just a little bit later in the video. So the Sennheiser G-Series is a crowd favorite, but as you may know, for location sound use, they present some big challenges. Well, I think the transmitters are really solid. The receivers have some serious shortcomings that can make your life on set a little bit miserable. You can't improve your signal by connecting external antennas or bandpass filters. And even if you modify the body with an SMA connection, they're not true diversity or even antenna diversity. There's no frequency coordination amongst multiple receivers. So coordinating them requires that each one be tuned independently. Each needs its own set of AA batteries that may require frequent changes while on set and possibly even at inconvenient times. And each receiver takes up space in your bag and has its own audio cable, which can add to the clutter of your carefully crafted sound bag. So I often get hit with the question, what's the next step up from the Sennheiser G series? How can I level up my wireless game without diving headfirst into a top tier system like WYSICOM? And that's a legitimate question. Investing in any top tier system may be your ultimate goal, but the upfront layout is a lot of cash. So naturally, you might be seeking some kind of middle ground, something affordable that solves these challenges, perhaps even leverages your current investment, but is also a smart investment for the future. After all, you don't wanna spend even more money now and end up right back where you started later on. So if you're hunting for that sweet spot, I think you're watching the right video because of this. This is the WYSICOM MCR54, a four channel true diversity receiver that could take your Sennheiser game to the next level. See, I told you I'd bring back the WYSICOM love. But let's dive into why the MCR54 can be a game changer for Sennheiser users. And I'm gonna break this down into two key areas. One, signal and sound quality, and two additional workflow efficiencies. So starting with sound quality, because let's be honest, what's the point of doing any of this if it doesn't sound fantastic, right? Well, you've been listening to a Sennheiser G4 transmitter with an MKE2 lav mic and the MCR54 receiver the whole time. I've been swapping between the MCR54 and a Sennheiser receiver, and I've annotated each switch with a little S or W. Did you catch the difference? I personally love the sound of the WYSICOM receiver here, but I wanna know your take, so please drop your thoughts in the comments below. Now, let's talk about compatibility, because mixing WYSICOM with other transmitter brands like Sennheiser is no problem on an MCR54. To set a channel to work for Sennheiser, go into the receiver's audio settings, select EVO under the Compander option, and you're all set to use this receiver with your Sennheiser G-Series transmitter. It's that easy. If you need more Sennheiser channels, just repeat that process on the MCR54's other receivers. And now that we've covered sound quality and compatibility, let's tackle the biggest issue with the Sennheiser receiver, the signal quality. And here is where the MCR54 can literally save the day. Now it's rare for a four channel receiver to be true diversity, that the MCR54 packs not one, but two receivers for each of its four channels. That's eight receivers into this compact beast. Combined with the two SMA connections per channel, it provides true diversity tuning. The MCR54 is also engineered with extremely sensitive tuning circuits and built-in filters, ensuring top-notch signal quality. And with the standard SMA connectors, you can switch between the whip antennas, to externally mounted omnidirectionals or shark fin antennas, and you can insert bandpass filters to block out-of-band interference. Both of these things will dramatically improve the reception from your Sennheiser transmitters. Now, moving on to workflow, starting with coordinating frequencies. As I mentioned earlier in the video, the Sennheiser receiver makes you set up each receiver independently a time-consuming hassle that can be prone to errors. But the MCR54, setting up four clean intermod frequencies takes only seconds. You just hold down the scan button, 
pick your desired block, confirm your transmitters are off, perform your scan, hit set all, and voila. You've got four clean, coordinated, intermod free frequencies ready to roll. Now, IR sync between the MCR54 and the G series transmitters isn't a thing but manually entering frequencies into the Sennheiser transmitter is pretty easy using Sennheiser's advanced menu. And let's not forget about power and audio cables. Sennheiser receivers chow down on AA batteries like it's an all-you-can-eat battery buffet, with battery swaps potentially disrupting your filming workflow. And what about all those AA batteries? With the MCR54, it's a different story. A single Hiroshi cable connected to a battery or a BDS provides power for all four channels, so no more battery swaps. One battery keeps the MCR50 going strong for an entire production day. And even the audio cabling is streamlined with just two cables connecting all four audio channels to your recorder. And with four channels in such a small package, optimizing your sound bag layout has never been easier. So you can see how the MCR54 is a powerhouse four channel true diversity receiver and how it can really upgrade your Sennheiser system. Yet at the same time, future proof your setup, paving the way to Wizzycom's full line of professional wireless products. And there's a ton more to love about the MCR54 that we cover in other videos on this channel. So have a look at those. If you have questions, are you ready to dive into the MCR54 experience on your next project? hit us up. We have individual MCR54s and kits with transmitters in our rental stock. If you enjoyed this breakdown, gently tap that like button and please consider subscribing for more content like this. And as always, happy recording. Mm -hmm.